Hello and welcome to this video. So I have been really diving into Easy Keys and uh, their Easy Drummer and just all the stuff that TuneTrack has. And then yesterday, MG The Future, who is somebody, if you're not following this guy already, his videos really speak to how my brain works. And I was so happy when I actually found somebody had left a comment in some other video I was watching and I found this guy and his videos are really great. And so he was talking about easy keys and just sort of letting the cat out of the bag about uh, just, just easy keys in general and, and what you can do with it. And I wanted to make a video myself because all of this stuff I'm, I'm finding is just blowing my mind. And if you don't know my background, I was a DJ for a long time. So like early 2000s, DJ, vinyl, all the old school stuff, uh, you know, then switched over to like Final Scratch and Tractor and Serato and, uh, you know, really at the forefront of digital DJing. And always wanted to like dive into music production, but I don't know, it's just always just seemed like there was a wall there. I, I mean, no matter how much money I spent and what I was doing, I just didn't have a theory, even though I, I played guitar since I was 13. Uh, it just I just felt like there was always this wall and I didn't get past it because I was busy and so much stuff to do. But now I just sort of dove back in um, in the fall and and it's really because of where technology has come. And if you haven't been on the wave and been experiencing it and you don't have necessarily the years in your pocket that I have, you probably don't realize what's developed. And it's, it's really quite amazing. So I wanted to just, I, I picked up Dream Machine. I, I've been picking up the, um, some of the MIDI packs from TuneTrack for Easy Keys, some of the grooves for Drummer. And I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. So this is Dream Machine. And I had put together this, this like little thing the other day that's nothing much, but um, was using Dream Machine. So picked out some grooves and, and this is what I put together. I don't have my drum track on, but just so you could hear the quality of this new dream machine. Like, it sounds great. This is the On the Beach preset. Um, this is, it, it's really, I mean, this is awesome. And it just blows my mind what you can do with this. So I think I used a groove I think I used a groove that was from um, the Melancholy Pop, but I just wanted to share with you some of the stuff that I'm doing here so it might benefit you. Um, so this is Easy Keys. You have to have a, a core machine. So I had originally gotten the Grand Piano and then like you got one free. So I got the Melatune, which is a cool one to have. That was actually pretty good. Um, and once you have the, the core instrument, you can then get these these grooves, these MIDI grooves, which are like really blow my mind. So let's go look into them. And for some reason, my browser's not popping up. Why aren't you popping up? Here we go. All right, so you get these, this library, you see these add-on packs and they give you, here's the melancholic pop that just came out. They basically give you these styles, which you can, you can pick out any chords you want. I mean, you're not stuck with what they give you. You have the whole ability to, to take what you want and pick out a new chord. Um, it, it, again, blows my mind. So let me see if I can make this bigger. That's the one thing that I can't stand about these VSTs. So I'm in machine now and as a VST, like you wish you could make the window bigger, but you can't. Some things, you know, like I feel like the newer VSTs, they're picking up on having the whole ability to, to scale your window. Uh, but uh, some of the older ones, not so much. All right, so you have your browser here. And let's see, maybe I can just tune in. Uh, but like, so for instance, this is my, this is my intro. I've got split up. I did a verse, but what's so crazy is that you take your chords, you know, the chords that you pick, whatever you got going on, 
uh, you know, or just take their predetermined chords. And you can pick a play style. And the play style is from any of these add-on packs. So uh, let me see. Let me solo this right now because I don't think I have it soloed here. And let me play this. So this is the dream machine going through. This is my intro I picked out um, and the chords I picked out here. And it's a, I did it in like a trap, trap style. So it's a half time. So as you see the tempo here sets so a 69. Uh, but uh, yeah, so it's gonna play this and then I picked out the verse and it's gonna play the play style for the verse. So we're gonna go into the verse now. Like. I didn't play that, I picked it out. So what blows my mind is the fact that I have this tool now, which never had before, that is going to give me a certain play style, chords, a certain feel, and I can actually edit that if I want to. Uh, so again, that's like half time. So, all right, take that, we'll put that to the side and then let's, let's take a look at our project here. Let me show that down. Uh, and so what I did is I took those keys and I said, all right, I'm, I, I need to come up with, uh, you know, like a melody and like, you know, I need a little bit more here to my, uh, sorry, when I click that, everything opened up, uh, I'm playing around with the electric starburst from, from native instruments, which has been fun. But so I basically copied, I, I said, okay, here we go. So we have this MIDI. So I took this, I copied like the top line, created a melody out of the top line, created um, two melodies, actually. Oh, 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 everything's opening. All oh, my VSTs are opening. Um, create two melodies. So I got these two melodies that I've created from that top line there. So let's listen to those. We're adding like a little bit more to those underlying keys. Shall it is them to And then this is the other one that added the melody. It's really slight there. And I actually added these uh, the Omnisphere. I added some uh, some bells here in this one. Let's add this so you can hear this. I mean, this is this is just very basic. I'm just trying to give you an idea of like what how my my train of thought has been thinking when I've been creating stuff. And then I mean, for this it was a great thing I told you about in another video is like you can just even pull from uh, from Native Instruments you can pull one of their drum patterns like I, I just pulled this because I've been playing around with it um, just trying to see like what I can create and how quick I can create something without having the background and those drums I'm not crazy about those drums so Sort of like a oh, placeholder. I was editing this video and I realized I did a lot of talking and not a lot of showing. So I want to just open up Easy Keys for you to get an idea of what this Dream Machine sounds like. So right now this is the browser. This this is what the Dream Machine piano looks like. And let's go into the browser here and we're gonna pick. Let's pick some play styles. I can go to um, Piano Pop. Why not? Try it. And so straight out, there's just so many presets. So this is the basic one. Let's get something a little faster. Yeah, let's go to this melancholic pop out, actually. Let's go over here. idea um, the one that I've really been playing with is in the mallets I like this on the beach it's just sound incredible so but let's go through some of this the basic presets I think that 
they're they're really great and you know you can go to the tune track website and listen to a bunch more they've got other examples there so you don't need to go through all of them but i did want to show you a little bit of it in this video since it was dream machine was included in the title i'm sure you wanted to hear some of this i like the celeste it came out really really nice it's just overall i think they did a great job on this instrument and i can hear myself really, you know, wanting to, to use these in, in some of my songs. That's a good sound. Great sound. And they have these um, soundscapes that are actually really cool too. I mean, that's begging for a song right there. That's a nice sound. All right, well, hopefully this will give you a little bit of an idea of some of the sounds in here. Go to the Tune, Tune Track website, check it out for yourself. There's some good stuff uh, on there. It gives you an idea. You can read more about the different sounds, how they were designed, and you can listen to some full, um, full pieces of music utilizing the instruments and the presets. So, yeah, this is this is really cool. Like just blows my mind what you can do and so maybe I'm actually going to show you um, the easy drummer because that blows my mind too so you know, I'm showing you these easy keys you can get the different MIDI packs the, for play style for the keys but for the drummer program um, you can get the the grooves like somebody playing drums. Like you don't, I don't know how to play drums. I mean, I can program them in, I can try and do my best, but to have that really like live feel from drums is freaking crazy. So let's take a look at this one. Put this together. Let me close all these out, all these VSTs open. And let's see what we got here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. This, you know what, I'm, this is like one of those like throwaway beats. Like I was like, eh, I don't know what I think about this, but the drum track is a drum track from, um, from, from Easy Drummer, what is it called? Superior Drummer 3. I haven't seen Easy Drummer, Superior Drummer 3. Um, so let me remember where the drum track is. All right, there it is. Um, so here's a cool thing. Now I think, copied it over because that's the thing it's all midi so you just copy it over nope here it is loading it all right take a look at this how cool is this so there's a drum set this is the the hip-hop expansion groove um so that's the drums or the or the hip-hop but i didn't that's the drum kit i'm using but my groove let's see if it shows my groove i don't really know if it does show that but I think that this particular groove is from yeah so UK pop groove so like you don't I mean think outside of your space right I mean think outside of your space so this is a groove somebody playing like UK pop but it's the kit from a hip-hop set and that's what's so amazing about this it's just gotta like if you're if you are like, all right, this is distracting, so let me shut this off. But if you're thinking of like going with the whole um, tune track bit, which like I'm telling you, if you're smart, you're going to do it because I just, 
I just feel for a lot of us out there, I just want to get to diving in and making music. It It's like a no-brainer. I mean, this is the way to go. It's like, why reinvent the wheel? Like, they're putting out this product for you that can do such amazing things. Like, why wouldn't you use it? Like, I don't know. Like, there's purists out there who are like, oh, no, man, you got to, like, program your own drums in, and you got to, like, learn the hard way. And, like, it, it just... You just got to like dig deep, but like it's here for you and it's amazing. I would never be able to play drums like this. I could, I, I, I could just try my hardest to spend like the next year learning how to program drums and I'm still not going to be at this caliber. So to be able to, to purchase the Superior Drummer, to purchase the Groove Pack, to purchase the sounds that they record. I mean, and like some of the sounds are freaking crazy. I'm gonna, I'll do that in another video. I mean, you can always go to Toontrack's website, but like just to give you an idea of what I've honed in on uh, in terms of purchasing grooves, and you can all check them out before you purchase them, which is really cool. But I went through, went through some of the sounds. I've got the hip hop, I got end up with indie, um, and these are just the, the add-on packs, I'm sorry, for the grooves. Disco, uh, pocket grooves pop, uh, uh, songwriters fill pack, right, 60 pop grooves. So I listened to them and thought, like, what like what can I use? What may I be able to use for my sound or, like, give me, like, some kind of, like, leg up on a, uh, on a nice groove? And then the same thing, so for the library. So the libraries are basically the... Um, the actual sounds, like this, the drum sounds. And they have some cool stuff, right? Got claustrophobic, dream pop, electronic hip hop, right? You'd think like hip hop, but what about all this other stuff? The indie folk actually has some really cool kicks in there, which I was digging. Um, number one hits, there's some like neat uh, electronic types of sounds in that pack. Uh, reggae, just again, an interesting sound, and the Twisted Kit. I mean, some of the drum sounds on the tris Twisted Kit, like I don't know where else you're going to, get those sounds. It, I can't say enough amazing things about Toontrack and I'm having fun using it. They're not paying me. Like nobody's giving me anything for free. I've paid for everything here. If you're going to buy something from Toontrack, pay attention. They do have a lot of sales that go on. They change usually each month. Like what I've found. If you think you're going to buy several packs, make sure you buy like a, a bundle because that's the way that you save money. But this stuff just in general, it blows my mind. You can use it in anything. Like I'm using it in machine. I mean, you can use it in live. I've used it in live. Um, and it is, it is the VST or you can use it as a standalone. So if you're just like chilling out and you're just like sitting on your couch and you want to come up with some, some drum patterns, like literally you can go and do that. And there's a, uh, there's an editor in here. I mean, like the whole thing's like crazy. It just, it, it really, just blows my freaking mind and now I'm not gonna be able to find it where the fuck is the editor I you know I never find the editor and always like where is it like where where'd the editor go where'd it go like why can't I find it edit midi great editor there it is all right so like I, and I haven't upgraded yet there's just a uh, update came out today 3.11 or something like that that's amazing and has all these huge updates, even to like this Brita editor, which uh, blows my mind. Um, yeah, you got a Brita editor right here. You got all your sounds over there on the left and you can just go in there and edit to your pleasing. This blows my mind. If you are, are new to production and you've never, ever like taken a crack out of it, um, yeah. This, this didn't exist like 10 years ago, 10 years ago, you were like on Sony acid with, uh, some, um, yeah, you know, you had packs you could buy that had different types of genres if you wanted to, but it was nowhere near what you can do now. Like to take somebody's play style with your own chords and then take that MIDI, edit it, do to your liking, create a baseline, which I didn't even, you know, I didn't even show you. I mean, create a baseline out of it. Uh, for people that just want to take an idea and just get it down, it's just like the, the it's just blown up, blown up. I, you are going to see so many more people in the next year 
or to hop into music production like you've never seen it before. I've seen this in other places. I've seen it in photography, which I, I was a wedding photographer for years. I've seen it in video. Uh, technology makes these advances and it happens. You like you're not expecting it and all of a sudden it happens and people start becoming aware of the fact that there's these advances and they say holy crap I can do this now and then they jump on and they do it and it's exciting it's exciting there's a lot of people that are probably purists that don't want you to know about this stuff right now uh, I know MG MG the future was talking about that uh, but you know it's the future it, it, it <laughs> You know, it's ironic. His name is MG the Future. It is the future. This is where things are going. So I think it only um, benefits everybody to talk about the what you can do so that we all can come, become better at our craft. We can work together and really create a community around like-minded individuals who want to create music. Uh, that's what I want to do. That's why I'm making these videos as I learn. Uh, maybe something I'm learning can help you guys. So, yeah. That's about it. Uh, I'm going to dive deeper into maybe some, some production stuff in the next few videos, but thanks for tuning in today. Uh, you know, check out Easy Keys. Go to the TuneTrack website. See if it's something that might fit into your workflow. And I understand all these things cost money, so just keep it in the back of your mind if it's something that's like financially not viable for you right now. Uh, because I'll tell you, all this, all this stuff costs money and it just keeps adding up and adding up. But if it's not financially viable for you right now, just keep it in the back of your mind. Keep honing your craft because I just think that, you know, somebody's going to help you, but anything you're doing right now to prep yourself to really step into that space is also beneficial. You know, there's a, you know, uh, yeah, it's the race in some respects, but it's also, you have to, you have to sort of take stock and, and, and stick to your own time because you can join the race, but is you may not get all all that you want to get out of the journey if you're just worried about the race. So if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe, subscribe, hit the bell so you get some notifications. Thanks for tuning into my channel, and I'll see you next video.